Hi everyone, welcome to Craft Time again. We're still working on the letter A, but today we're making an alligator eating apples. Alligator, apples. I'm excited you're here. So get out all your craft supplies and let's get started. In front of me, I have my A template. A, capital A, as well as a piece of back paper, could be any color, a piece of green paper, red paper, some stickers, and some apple stickers as well. What I want to focus on first is coloring in my A, the letter green, because the A is going to be our alligator. So let's go ahead and do that. Now you could be using crayons or markers, whatever you choose, maybe pencil crayons. And whatever you choose, just make it green today because it needs to match our green paper. And then we'll go along all my lines. And now I'm going to fill it in. So let's go ahead and do that. cutting this out and putting this onto our paper in a minute so make sure that your scissors are handy Boy, I like how bright that green is on my paper there we go that looks really good now just go in and see what spaces you've left behind and just trim those up and that looks great to me. So let's go on in and take our safety scissors and start cutting around our A. So being mindful of where our fingers are, going slowly. when you have used marker and it makes your paper a little bit more flimsy. So just take your time when that happens. There we go. Looking good. Now I do have, I'm going to take this to the side and you guessed it, recycle. I'm going to either cut across or I'm feeling bold today. I'm going to go on in and I'm going to cut a little snip. And I'm going to stick my scissors in there and slowly cut around. Very slowly, very safely. Very nice. And one more little piece here. Awesome. I like how that looks. So my A would normally, my capital A would normally sit like this. But I want to take my paper and I want to turn my A on its side so that it looks more like an alligator. So let's go ahead and grab our glue and put it on the wrong side and then glue all over very nicely so it's going to stick really well. That feels like a good amount of glue to me. It's going to get very flimsy, but we are in charge. So let's play with it a little bit. And I want this line to match up with that line. So I'm going to move it until it does. Being careful not to rip it. Pressing down really well. And there you go. That looks good. Now I am going to take actually the remainder of the paper because if I don't have to use another piece of paper, I don't need any waste. I'm just going to take my paper 
I'm just gonna line it up just like that. Do you see how the line of my paper matches the line of the A? And I'm just going to take my marker and I'm just going to create some triangles. All right, and then I'm gonna take this and I'm just going to cut those triangles. So I know that because I measured them, they're going to fit. And extra awesome is that I didn't waste any other paper. I used paper that I already had ready to recycle. There you go. That looks really cool. So let's go and put a little dollop of glue down there on each piece. I'm gonna do that for this one as well and that one. So my glue will dry, so it doesn't matter if it's purple right now. And I can just rub it like that too. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another piece. And I'm just going to draw on some other two. So let's take our line again and let's make some more glue. Maybe I will make one right here. Just using all of the scrap paper that I have. And all we're doing is just cutting triangles. So if you don't want to draw it and you know what a triangle looks like, then just go ahead and do that. That's cool too. I'm going to cut three out of my paper here. And there you go. So let's go ahead and do it again. Let's grab our triangles, put some glue on them them right there. And this alligator is looking very fierce if you ask me. So we want to put one like that and then another one like so. Perfect. Now what I want to do is draw two circles because the circles are going to be my eyes. So I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper I'm going to grab my yellow, and maybe I won't do whole circles. Maybe I'll do semi-circles like that. And maybe, do I need two? Well, let's make two. So there you go. I've got what looks like an M or a half circle. I'm just going to go in and cut that out. You could also make a whole circle and glue it right there if you like. But I like how this looks. And it wasn't initially how I was going to do it, so I changed it as I went, but it still looks great. So get creative. Do what feels good to you. Change it up a little. You might even look in your craft box and see what else you could add. That's really great. Now what I'm going to do is add my two stickers to my alligator eye. Let's put some eyelashes on our alligator. Just like that. Just a little bit silly and a little bit fun. The next thing we're going to do is take a piece of red paper. I don't need this much. I just want to make a little apple. So let me show you how I make them. So I'm going to take a green so that you can see it. And I'm going to make a C and then make another C and just add a little stem right there. So I'm going to go around with my scissors very slowly. my apple. I'm going to turn it over as to not show my line. So if that's the case, I want to put it on the wrong side with the marker on it. And let's go on in and give this alligator an apple. Now I'm going to take my apple stickers and I'm just going to take them and put them around 
the alligator's mouth inside of his mouth because he loves to eat them. Now, if you didn't have apple stickers, you could just draw more apples right onto your paper or draw apples and cut them out. I'm actually going to put two little apples inside so it is the apple of his eye. And we have one more, so let's go on ahead and put it in there. The last thing that I want to do with you is to take my red marker and draw A's on his teeth. So I'm going to draw a capital A and a lowercase a. So we've got a capital A, a lowercase a, another capital, and another lowercase. And that is your alligator eating apples. And there you have it, an alligator eating delicious apples. I hope you like yours. It was fun making this one today. I can't wait to see your photos. I'll see you next time.